everybody, it's Carissa from The Sewing Shop and I'm gonna do a brief video today showing you how to use the live video on your Brother 10 needle um, while using the clamping systems. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're gonna start off, of course, with our material that's marked and our stabilizer here. Um, and as you can see inside of your clamp hoops, there are the little notches on the top, bottom, left, and right that are indicating the center of your hoop. Okay, so they're right there and up there. So we're gonna lift the lever over here and that top piece is gonna come up and we're gonna slide our material or our bag, whatever we're doing into the clamp hoop with our stabilizer. And the good thing about those notches is that if you drew a crosshair like I drew on this fabric here, you can use them to line up your material with the center of your hoop. And then when you have it centered, clamp it down on the side there. Okay, always remember that whenever you're using the clamp hoops, your machine's going to recognize it as your largest hoop. So you may think, yes, it's telling me where the center is, but you always have to find the center of these hoops, okay? So we're gonna come over here to our screen, and I know that this is the bottom corner of my um, fabric, so I'm gonna rotate my design 180 degrees to get it where it needs to lay, and then I'm going to do my moving. Okay, to kind of get it in the general area, I'll see what needle I'm on by pressing the uh, needle button here. And it'll tell me that I am on needle two because it is selected in blue. So now I have a guideline of where I'm gonna be looking to kind of get it in this general area here. Okay, so I'm gonna use the arrows on screen and I'm gonna move it. But keep in mind, when you're moving it on this first screen here, as you're moving it on screen, it's not actually moving your clamping system, which can be a little confusing for you. So we recommend when you're moving it to go to edit end and adjust that on your layout screen here. And this is where I'm gonna use my arrows and as I'm using my arrows, it's going to be moving my clamping system to where I get that better idea of where I need to be, okay? Of course, you can run your trial with this um, <clears throat> trial button down here and it's going to go around and show you um, lower that needle that you're on which is ours is number two and it's going to go around in one fell swoop and show you the perimeters of your design but you could also use your live view to kind of check your perimeter points as well so on the same layout screen you can see the little machine with the uh, magnifying glass on it if you push that button it's always going to tell you your machine's going to move it's just making it to where you're at the live camera press ok and now it's going to show you live feed on screen so i can put my hand under there and now you're seeing me wiggle my fingers on that screen there. So that's your live view. And if you wanna just make sure you're not hitting your clamp poop, you can push this button down here. It is your perimeter points as well. So I'm gonna select that. And then it pulls up my perimeter points. I currently have the center selected, which is obviously where I found the center of this design um, in my crosshairs. But if I press the top center button, it's technically the bottom of my design because I have it rotated. And I can clearly see that I have enough room for my design to not hit the hoop there. Um, another important thing too that we recommend doing is pressing OK and doing, uh, once you get out of your live view, pressing lock and scissors and what that's going to do is that's actually going to put your needle down within your hoop to make sure as a you know a triple check that you're not going to be hitting that um, metal of your clamping system but once again you can use your live view with your clamp poops you just press your little machine with your magnifying glass press ok and it's going to pull it up and you can check all your different points with this button and choose your whatever perimeter point you want to check and I can clearly see there is my clamp hoop there's the edge of my design I'm gonna to go to the top there's my clamp hoop and there's the edge of my design and then always go back to the center point when you're done that way the next thing that you hoop or the next thing you put on the machine you're not thinking you're choosing the center point you're actually choosing whatever point you left off on and once you make all of those adjustments, you just press OK, go to your embroidery screen by clearing out of the live view, go to embroidery, and then of course, make sure that you're on the correct needle um, and that you have a bobbin, everything like that. And then you just start your machine and you're ready to go. So there's a quick video on how to use the live view on your multi-needle, um, <coughs> tin needle, while using your clamping system. 
And we don't like necessarily using the scanning camera because the machine thinks that it's on the larger soup. So we'll go fully from left to right trying to do that larger soup. And if you have a bag on there, it may get stuck. Thank you.